we greet you. May God bless you and your family. Yes, um, ladies and gentlemen, the next person to launch our hospital projects is not a person than a man of two cultures, a true son of Allah, Abu Zi. A man who went to the mighty white man's land and conquered them. And came back with plenty education and plenty money. A retired professor of an American university. <laughs> a gold traditionalist. A man with liberal traditional titles. <laughs> a man who has written so many books. That even the white and black they read his books all over the world. <laughs> An ego on the ego. That is the man. The pride of Awusi. Of your people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to call upon Arthur. Successful children. Yours is the salute of the golden flute. Thank you. You see, my people, when I am happy, I talk in poetry. drums of war. What is happening today in our community is a very, very, very good thing. It is the triumph of the communal spirit of our people. The people of Amuzi. The people I am proud to be their son. It's a happy day for me today, and I tell you this, and always remember it. Now, what the government will not do for us, we shall do for ourselves. Thank you, uh, Musa.
Kula a couch, a sum of twenty million dollars for the hospital. all this. Eh? And I don't think you're right, you know. Oh, you think I am wrong? Don't worry. I will make investigations and give you all the proof that you need. Eh? I will do that. You did it at one woman's traditional wedding. You allowed me to start spraying her with my dollars. Yeah. Then it came up and started spraying her with palm stellings. And of course, he had the loudest ovation. During the governor's visit, he waited until I took a bottle of schnapps. Then he went and took Martin. Then he made me look like a local farmer with my schnapps on, the, on top of my table. As if that was not enough, he started speaking English. The type of English that you will hear in a PhD class. Is that the way to behave in our community like this? Tell me. Is that the way to behave? You are not saying anything. I have only one thing to say. And I've always said it. Well, very is good when it is healthy rivalry. But the rivalry between you and Professor Chief Abalanze is not a healthy one. Please, end it now, Chief. Oh, so, you want me to go and beg him to be my friend? That, that, that's, that's not... I came to this village before he came back from America. And since he came back from America, has he ever come to pay homage to me? He hasn't. I took the, the title of Ubazuno Bodo. One, two, and three. Ever before he took the title of Ofodike. What does what does this what does this Ofodike even mean? He's such a proud and arrogant old man. He thinks that Ofodike with Ofodike he, he, he is the only one who has repeat. 
truth. I'm not asking you to go and beg him. God forbid that I will ask my husband to do such a thing. All I'm saying is that you should just ignore him. Imelda, how can I ignore a mosquito that is buzzing in my hair? How? Well, you can get up and walk away from the mosquito. Oh, so you just want me to leave me that also? Eh? I cannot. When a mosquito is buzzing in your ear, either you drive it away or you... You crush it with your pants. I have sent, I have sent my boys to the bank to go and get me another 10 million naira. What? I am going back to that place and, and, and relaunch. Then let me see how that poor, poor teacher from America can come and match my 24 million. Chief, another 10 million? Whatever for? I don't like this thing you're doing because I just don't understand. Ah, uh, yeah. you are yeah. back. Yes, sir. You got the money. Uh, the money is here, sir. <laughs> uh, okay, let uh, us go. Uh, there's a problem, sir. As we're coming back from the bank, we pass through the launching ground. The launching is over, sir. Thank God. You? You mean the launching is over? Yes, it's over, sir. Yes. Take the money back and take it to the bank. Chief, I think uh, we should go upstairs to the room. You need to rest, you know. Have a cold shower. Today has been full of activities. I think you need to rest. <laughs> Big man's life, oh, now Big man's world, oh, now I. Big man, the vest. Now, yawa, the gas. When two big men, they fight, too. Oh. Everywhere they shake. It's about uh, Chief Odoyenfe. That man doesn't like you at all, at all, at all. Do you know that after that luncheon, he has been going everywhere to, to say that you planned with the organizers of the luncheon, myself in particular, to, to announce him first to come to donate towards the hospital project before announcing you. That is ridiculous. Why would he say a thing like that? And why would I do a thing like that? Hmm? He says it is uh, to give you opportunity to see what he has donated. So that you now will donate more than that. And gather all the praises to yourself. He now sees you as, as his rival. <laughs> that is an understatement. Adelian Faye sees himself as my rival. I think it's petty. Yes. What would I do with such praises? Sew them up on the cloth and wear my body? I, I, I wonder. Adrian Fay is a very petty man and is the sort of man that this community can do without. 
No? I have always ignored him and I'll continue to ignore him. In fact, it's not my problem at all. Is that all you have to say uh, for, about this affront from him? <laughs> it's a banana. You don't shoot an ant with a machine gun. You crush it with a thumb and then reserve your weapon for a real war. So you are saying that uh, Chief Ojonyefe is an ant? Exactly. And when his lanterns grow into a real threat, then I will unleash my arsenal on him. Well, if you say so, no problem, Chief. But I would suggest we confront him face to face so that everybody will know what a liar he is. No, it is not time for war yet. We we'll wait for him to either calm down or get worse. Well, uh, if you say so, no problem. Uh, then I, I should be going, Chief. Oh, my. Hey. Uh, <clears throat> lest I forget, Chief, uh, forgive me for asking you, hmm? but I, would you have some 20,000 Naira to spare? Before God and man, my son has a very important examination to register for, and I don't have that kind of money on me now. You see, um, if you can, please help me if you can, if you have it. I know you have spent so much money at the lunch. It's all right. It's not a bother at all. I'll give you the sum of 50,000 naira. <laughs> so that you can sort out other problems too. Chiduke goes here again. God bless you and protect you forever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> Just uh, one minute. Hey, hey. So God, you are still God. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So you could sort out other little problems that you may have. See so if you say little, this will solve almost all my problems. May God bless you. And you too. Hey. Uh, Chief, I think I have to go now. Okay. May God bless and protect you. May the rules die. Thank you, Chief. Please don't be annoyed. I invited my wife and my son here so that they can hear what you have been telling me. I have been telling them this thing for all these years, but they won't believe me. I want them to hear from your mouth. Uh, <clears throat> Iche, over to you. Um, well, what I said is nothing but the truth that Chief Abalanze is your arch rival in this village. He bribed us while we were planning this last lunch to ensure that you are announced before him so that he will hear what you donated so as to improve on it. Have you heard, Imelda? Have both of you now heard? Iche, continue. Um, the other day, he called you an ant. Yes. And 
and he vowed that he would not come to pay homage to you. Instead, he will crush you if you continue to grow wings in this village. That is serious. Excuse me, where did you hear all this from? <laughs> in his very home, just yesterday. So you also visit his house as well? Uh, uh, well, uh, I, uh, I, I went there to tell him that all he has been doing are wrong. I, I went there to tell him to desist from seeing Chief Odionyemfe as his rival. After all, they are not dragging anything. Instead, he called me cut. Yes. So, you've heard that. So both of you can now leave us alone. Let me continue my discussion with my very respectable E.J. Conny man, Conny, Conny, take a easy. Conny man, oh, mm. waiting you they find. Mm. Now money, money, you go kill yourself one, one day, day. Now one day, your cup will go full. Oh. You go tired. If it's only so, get better put in Do you remember what transpired at the governor's visit? Oh yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> he, he sat close to the governor and was speaking English and English and English. Not only that, when it was time to, to bring drinks, they brought an elder snaps in front of me. Why they put in front of him Bolone Martini? Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, that was his plan too. Mm -hmm. In fact, I overheard him planning it with the service boys and service girls. I knew it. I knew it. When it was time for them to put drink, they made sure that they put uh, in front of me this this schnapps, which made me look local, and Martini in front of him, uh, which made him look foreign. Look, it's a Bernard. When I begin to deal with this abalanza. When I deal with him, even the devil cannot save him from my hands. Oh, Chief, Chief, please take it easy. Huh? Take it easy. That is how the world is. Yeah, with plenty enemies and friends. In fact, most of the time, the people that will hurt you most are the ones that you have been so good to. You are right. <clears throat> uh, Chief, uh, uh, I think... Uh, I should be going now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me get my personal driver to, to, to drop you off. Mm. No, don't worry, Chief. I can track. <laughs> um, it's only, um, my daughter has to go back to the university and I don't have a cobble in the house. Um, even the bribe money that Chief Abalanza gave to me to be on his side, I returned it to him. Because I thought I'd rather be a poor man than to do anything wrong to a good chief like you. Anyway, uh, don't worry about that. I will send Gideon, my boy, to come to your house tomorrow with some money. Eh? Don't just worry about that, okay? <laughs> don't just worry. Thank you, okay? Thank you, chief. Thank you very so, much. So, um, I, I truly. Go in peace. Thank you, Chief. Thank you very much. Conny man, Conny, Conny, take a easy. Conny man, oh, mm. waiting you they find. Mm. Now money, money, you go kill yourself one, one day, day. Now one day, your cup will go full. Oh. You go tired. If it's so late, so get me to put in here. Conny, 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 I am fagging there. Conny man, oh, you go kill yourself one day. Now money, 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 uh, what did you cook? You can go and throw that to the dogs. Such food does not befit and a cheer of my status. Bitch, I've been eating it in my without complain. Why are you complaining? Look, when a poor man stumbles on money, eh, the smell of his shit changes. That is to say, the food he will eat will now, and the excrement he now passes away will change. Huh? Now, come. Take this 10,000 naira. I want you to go to the market and buy goat meat, 
Mm, cow leg. Hmm. Mm, <laughs> I want you to cook a very rich big pot of soup for me. His labor, isn't it? It is. Do you know how hard I've worked? No, ma. Come sit down. <laughs> sit down. I, I will tell you. I've told you are my wife. Yes, ma. And uh, you may even help me. Uh -huh. Yes. Now, I have carefully watched the rivalry between Chief Odiolofe and Chief Abalanza. And I've carefully studied the gap between them, widened more and more. Uh -huh. So, so as a wise man who is destined to, to feed from the foolishness of rich people, eh, I've put myself in that gap. I now tell a little bit of story of Chief Abalanze to Chief Odionyanfe. Hmm? Then a little bit of story of Chief Odionyanfe to Chief Abalanze. And as stupid as their money has made them, without any inquiry, they believe everything I say. Mm -hmm. And now they, they are, they, each of them are daring to fight each other. Huh? Now, as they are fighting, I will now act as a spy mm -hmm. to give information on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see, this money that I have now mm. is just the first payment to uh -huh. I will not stop until until I have this for myself and my family a nice bungalow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got a nice bungalow financed <laughs> by their stupidity and the hatred for each other. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what do you say now? Yeah. Wherever you and my husband is standing, that is where I am standing. Hey! Uh-uh. Hey, baby dear. Nice. Uh -uh, you are my wife. I knew I could always count on your support. Man, why can't you? Why can't you? Haven't we seen poverty together? Mm -hmm. This cow leg and goat meat that I'm going to buy, am I not going to eat it? Oh, oh. Those two chiefs have gotten more than enough. Good. They have more than what they need even. Good, you understand? Now, baby dear. No. I want uh, our daughter Jane to return to that nursing school. I know she needs some um, 15,000 naira. I have the money. Hey! Yes, I love. Yes! Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. That was thank you. Mm -hmm. eh? My daughter has been crying her eyes out. Yes. I never knew that God is there watching her. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It remains our sons. These boys have been parading this village ever since they finished their secondary school. Now, maybe we give them small money to start a trade, even if it's a uh, hawking pure water. Oh! Pure water? Oh. My two sons to hawk pure water? To fear God! God forbid! They will own big supermarkets in the city. Eh? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I have my plans. And maybe they can even help me raise the money. No, that's, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. With these two boys, you form the store. Ah, ah. Yeah, no, 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 That's Professor Balance's car coming. Let's go back a little for them to pass. This road is narrow. Would you shut your dirty mouth up? Move back for who? Or is he, is he not supposed to move back instead for us? Go back. Go back. Are you blind? Can't you see this place can take two cars? Okay, go back. Are you talking to me, little boy? You heard it! Get 
end of the road before I ask my boys to move you out. Oh, you. They told me that you have crass insanity in your lineage. Now I believe that. Vincent, Gideon. Sir. Dave. Sir. Get this man out of the way. Musa. Musa. Call Taiwo. Come to that junction. Adiche. Adiche is in one's near Adiche is in one's house. Come right away. Move this up the hand now. Move it. Young man, have you no respect for your elders? My friend, remove the car from the way. Adiye I assure you. As sure as I'm a chief in this community, I'll get your boys arrested for this affront. Oh, we are the ones going to arrest you first, you money launderer. Oh, you think that uh, Amway's community is too far away for EFCC to come and arrest you? I will expose you. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, my hands are very clean. You are the one who needs to go and remove the skeleton in your cupboard. Gideon, you stand there listening to this man while I am missing my appointment? Move this car or I'll move you. Now! No problem, young man. No problem. You know my boys. You know them. Taiwo and Musa. I am not going to sleep this night until they come for you. And they surely come for you. Move! His boys are coming. Fight! <laughs> <laughs> Yes! 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 Now, are your name fair or are your fellow, whatever they call you? Key you, small boy. Ask your driver to move the car. So, Agbalansi, you want to play it American style, eh? I swear, I will blow off your feet. And it is in self defense. One! Gideon, Two. move the car. Eh? There will be another day. There will be no other day for you. Hey, you Come on, get out of here. 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 Come on, get out of here.
temptation, we must be prepared at all times. When you are fighting a pig, you must rub yourself with filth and be like the pig. Or else, our Daniel Fair and his goons will run us out of this peaceful village where I have come to retire, write my books and run my rubber plantation. Okay? Did you hear me? Yes, sir. But sir, I suggest we need more hands to protect you. There are two boys currently working in the rubber plantation. Hmm. Those boys are fearless, sir. Ray. Ray, my son, I wish he was back from the States. Yes, he's a hot head like his Jamaican mother. If Ray was here, he would take them all one by one. Invite him home, sir. I think we need him now. Oh, yeah? <laughs> no, 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 no. You see, my son sometimes overdoes things. Yes. If Ray was here, he would shoot them one by one without thinking. That is my son. No. Let's leave Ray out of this. <laughs> we can handle this thing on our own. You understand? Let's handle them. These people have no brains. They don't have any brains. They just make trouble. Okay? So we can easily handle them. Okay? But be at a lot. Always. Okay? Good. What I want to ask you. Why have you chosen to inherit the soft heart of your brother? Instead of the ghost of your father. When you when you ran away this afternoon, who did you think was going to fight your fight for you? Eh? Who did you think? What if my enemies had killed me when when, when you ran away like 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 a little laugh? We don't need all these enemies. These enemies... No, Papa, we need peace in this community. Peace in the whole world. With peace, all of us can advance. I don't need to fight. Did, did you hear what your son said? We need peace in this world. Kofi Annan, peacemaker of the world. Did you hear what this stupid son that you gave to me just said? If, if I did not marry you as a virgin, I would have questioned who fathered this child for you. What? What is wrong with what Dave just said? Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. No problem. I am going to go outside and produce children who will inherit my habit and my guts. But I want you to know something. I want you to know something, Dave. In this life, whether you live as a lamb or as a lion, one thing is certain, we must all die. So choose either to live a day as a lion or a hundred years as an oppressed and a frightened little lamb. But Papa, it is not cowardice not to want to fight an unnecessary war. It is only a brief son that can say no to his father. No, my son. It is only a foolish son who wants to live the life of a nonentity that will say no to his father. That's what Kenny Rogers said. You don't need to fight to be a man. We won't allow them. We won't. They have come to corrupt the peace of this village with their ill-gotten money. It won't work. No, no, no. It's your Timothy. Don't say that. It is wrong. We all know the source of uh, Professor Abalanze's money. It is from hard work for so many years abroad. It is not an ill-gotten money. So mind your tongue. Eh? Hey. Ishe mother. I 
Valenza has given you a bribe. Yes. yes. Were you there in America yes. when he was making that money honestly? A 419 comes here to deceive all of us. Telling us he made his money by from being a, a professor and the writing books. And we believe him. So it is Odonyemfe that is honest. A known fraudster. Was it not miracle that prevented him from going to jail uh -huh. for buying stolen cars and goods? Oh. Adipo, okay. let us hear what. Uh -huh. Don't shout on me, or else I deal with you. Supporter yeah. of evil. You are the one supporting evil. Thank you. Myself? Yes. 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 How? All I know. Show me a big man, and I will show you a big crime. Mm -hmm. Ambalanze is bad. Open. And Why don't we wait for the person we sent to invite Ichie or the Onion Fair and Ichie Abalanza to return first? Then we can hear from both sides. And as wise kinsmen, we settle the rivalry for them. Why are we taking sides? Exactly what I've been meaning to say since. Mm -hmm. What is happening to these two rich men? It happens in any town or in any city where you have only two people. Who stand out for their riches so we need a third rich man to neutralize them in any city where you have uh, 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 two kings there's bound to be uh, there are bound to be supporters on both sides yes. and there's bound to be division so on whose side are you say it me yes. <laughs> well i am i'm on the side of the good man uh, who is the good man do i need to say it you all know him Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. He's back. He's back. He's back. Did you give them our message that we are all gathered here waiting for them? Very stubborn people. I have never seen such since my life. Proud and boastful Abalanze. He refused to come, didn't he? Could you believe that when I got to Chifa Abalanze's house, he asked me if Chifa Dohenfe was already here. And when I tell him no, he said, go! When he arrives, if people should come and call me. Yes. Yes. I am not supposed to be there before him. I said it. Our balance is a peacock. Yes. Let him finish, <laughs> my friend. Finish what? Uh, 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 please go on. Then I went to Chief for the NFS house. And when I go there, he asked me, why did they even bother to invite me to the same meeting with such a small chief? Let's look at That's that. That's right. A small chief that has not even been a chief for 10 years. Yeah. Okay, go and tell the chiefs and the elders that they should not bother making peace. I will personally handle our balance myself. Yes. Big, boastful words. What about See? Our balance will deal with him. Yes. Our balance will deal with us. Who is our balance? When did he start
two lecturer. And now, a rubber merchant. I have four books on sale in Europe and the United States of America. So, my source of wealth is not hidden to anybody. Therefore, your accusation or the accusations of whoever wrote a petition to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission against me are baseless and of no substance at all. My hands are very, very clean. Well, Professor, my orders are to arrest you and bring you down to the state headquarters for onward movement to Abuja. Those are my orders. And it is my duty to carry out the orders to the very letter. There is also another complaint against you, threatening the peace of this very community. Threatening peaceful dwellers with your rifle and shooting sporadically into the air. That will be answered for as well. Officer, shooting sporadically into the air is the culture of our people all over this land. Not only in my community. When we are celebrating, when we are bearing, we shoot into the air and the government is aware of that. All these are the doings of Odionyemfe. Right? Am I correct? Well, Chief, I think I'll be so lenient, patient and polite in carrying out my love for duty. Arrest him. Let's go. Officer, read me my rights. Professor Chief Agomba Abalanza, Ofudike of Amuzi, you are under arrest for violating section 419 of the Criminal Code of the Federal Republic, thereby committing economic crimes against the Federal Republic. You have a right to remain silent, for whatever you say will be used in evidence against you in a law court. We go now. You, sir. Sir. Take care of my house. I don't know when I'll be back. So, pack the briefcase for me. Let's go. Officer, sit down. Let him bring my briefcase. You can call your driver and I will ride with you in your car. You won't be comfortable in our vehicle. A prisoner has no time for luxury. I will ride in the police car. Okay? Do I still have any pride left with these handcuffs on my wrists? Huh? Well, Chief, uh, I am sorry. Just doing my job. Come. EFCC. Come. Hey. I'm not going, I'm not going. Hey. EFCC. EFCC. Hey. Hey. Oka. Hey. Oka.
you, you have done it. You have done it. You said it and you have done it. Your name is Ikwene. E.J. Bernard, you are welcome. Sit down. Sit down, sit down. Come sit down. Uh, Chief, you deserve respect. You deserve respect. Whoever does not respect you in this village, who else will you respect then? I have shown a balance where he is going to spend the night. I warned him. That small rat pointing a gun at me. Did you think I was going to run away like a rabbit? <laughs> I am a man. Yes. A man is measured by what he does when he has gone home to think overnight. Mm -hmm. A man pushes forward after he has rushed backward and then he, 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 he talks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Chief. Chief, uh, <laughs> please. How did you do it? <laughs> Simple. Very simple. Just a phone call. Just a simple phone call and I said that it should be probed. Wait, <laughs> wait. You mean you called Abuja? Where else? <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chief. Does that mean we should not be expecting a balance so soon back in the village? Well, well, if that is the case, I want you to tell his gods, like he chose uh, uh, Madu, Daniel, and John, and his supporters, that you should be very careful because I am coming for them. Good, good, ah, uh, good. Uh, I, I want them all. I want them. You should have seen how they were shooting their mouth in that meeting that we had. Talking all kinds of rubbish. Chief, or the onion said this. Chief, or the onion said that. What did they say I did? Um. Oof. Uh, nothing. Chief, then. Don't tell me you are not one of them. Yeah. God forbid. <laughs> chief, uh, uh, well, Chief, uh, you Daniel said that you bought stolen goods. You Mado said you are a 419er. You John said an evil man and I said to them that they are all jealous men and 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 and, and criminals and uh, <laughs> that is what I said in general mm -hmm. I am still or Johnny in faith mm -hmm. one two and the two. And three Forget about it. Uh -huh, what are you going to drink? I have I have local and internationally brewed drinks, Shinad Liko Indisa. What do you want to drink? Chief, uh, why should I insist on drinks? These drinks are so expensive. Um Chief Give me the equivalent of the drinks in money. You know, I, I have problems in my home. What problems again? Didn't my boys bring the 60,000 naira I asked them to give you to sort out your stuff? But Chief, you know that uh, a poor man's problems never end. It's alright, that is no problem. We will look for something for you to take home or uh, take some drinks. Hey, who is there? Chief, who? Hey, Chief, who? Who is that? Gideon! <laughs> Chief, who? Gideon! Gideon!
Professor, our investigations have proved you innocent. Here at the EFCC, we are just, fair and God-fearing. As such, we cannot detain an innocent man. I have orders to release you immediately and to apologize to you for any embarrassment the arrest two days ago may have cost you. Your friends, colleagues, and family, please accept our apologies. Apologies accepted. No offense taken. Thank you, Professor. I will now hand you over to my deputy. He will expedite your movement back home. Once more, Professor, we are sorry for the embarrassment. I have just one question for you. Go ahead, Professor. What do you do to those people who give false information to the commission by way of written petitions, etc. Um, we believe they are trying to help the government. They too may have been wrongly informed. That is why we investigate thoroughly at all times. Listen, officer. I'm an enlightened man, a retired university professor. A man is presumed innocent until he's proven guilty. How come, as you investigate thoroughly, how come you sent your men with handcuff to handcuff a man who is the pride of his people right before the people and took me out based on a petition by some people who may be wrong as you said? We are sorry, Professor. I promise. We will put it in writing and send it to your people, please. Okay, I apologize to my people because I'm a proud son of Amuzi. My people love me. Thank you, sir. I promise I'll do that. We are very sorry. Uh, hello, Nokobo. I'm handing the professor over to your department now. Put him on the next available flight to his state capital immediately. Yes. He is in my office right now. Thank you. Take the left turn in front. We're not going home yet. Okay, sir. Uh, where do we go from here, sir? We're going to Ichio Daniel's house. I want to show myself to my people first. I phoned Ichio Daniel from the airport and asked him to assemble the elders for me. Okay, sir. Yes. So let's go. Life to the water. Life to the fish. Sir, 
the sky is big enough to accommodate all the birds. Yes. yes. Even if they all wish to fly at the same time. Yes. yes. <laughs> May we always be as free as the birds in this life. Yes. 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 The tension is not for us mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. For our brothers, mm -hmm. for our in laws, mm -hmm. and for our children. <laughs> you see, uh, Musa, uh, bring the drinks from the booth there. Okay. <laughs> conclude the story of my wrongful arrest, let me state here clearly and categorically. But since the days are upon us, when brothers betray brothers, blood rise against blood. And Kit says Kim to the government on the basis of jealousy, envy, rivalry, and Blatant lies. There is a need to review the ties of blood and brotherhood or entirely cut it to pieces. <coughs> yes. I tell you, a real man is known by his ability to dance to any tune that is played out for him. I'll say the tune a betrayal and cheap sellout is being played out in this community right now. I can dance to it, and I will dance to it very well too. That is all I have to say right now. <coughs> My people, it's your balance. It is not yet time for war. Says who? It is time for war. Or the Onion film must be taught a lesson he will never forget in a hurry. We all know that he did it. Don't call names. Let us be diplomatic. Diplomatic, my foot. Ichi Abalanze, you must strike a blow for yourself in revenge, or I will strike it for you. Yes! Listen to me. No! No more peace. Who does Odoyen Fe think he is? By the way, Timothy, get out of this garden. Yes. Get away yeah, from yes. this garden. Get out. Leave us. Leave this meeting. Get up and go. It's all right. Uh, uh, please, uh, um, Timothy, don't go. My brethren, please. This is no time for us to encourage division in earnest. Please, let him be. If that is his own view, if he wants peace, of course he's free to talk peace. Don't let us ask him to leave our midst. Uh, but we don't want a spy in our midst. Uh, I'm sure that uh, Timothy is not a spy. Please, uh, let us <coughs> let us unite here because uh, we are facing a common foe. Please. Yes, yes. Timothy, if that is your view, Hey, Chief Abalance, you are a man. I see you are a man. Hey, Bernard, how are you? Hey, hey, he pained me. Oh, he pained me. He pained me when I was looking for you and I didn't see you in the village. The next thing I hear is that some evil man has given your name away to the government people as a government criminal. And the government has come to take you. Hey, no, 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 no. I said, how can Chief Doctor Professor Apalanze of Udike be a government criminal? No, no. I said, God, God judge. I said, God, save him more. Save him all. <laughs> Chief, you are a man. Ichi, please, you have to come inside. 
this is no talk for our side at all. You can see I haven't even entered my house. But please, you have to come in. Yes, and yeah. don't blame me. Don't blame me now. I am only so excited with sweet happiness to see you again. I will come in. Yeah. I will come in. Let's go. Ufudike. Nobody can harm you. You are a good man. So as I was saying, uh, when I heard that uh, uh, some policemen, about 20 of them, came to arrest you, I said no problem. <laughs> there were only three policemen, not 20. An ASP and two other policemen. You see? You see how this village is? And some very bad people even said there were 40 mobile policemen armed with thick helmet, tear gas, and machine guns. But thank God you have just confirmed that there were only three. You see why God will not fail to punish some people in this community. You see, the most important thing is that they were fair. Yes, when they discovered I was innocent, they let me go. Uh -huh. You see? I said, I said, there, there's no problem when they arrested you. Chief Abalanze is a good man. He even talks with the governor on telephone regularly. He will come back. Uh, Chief, tell me the truth. I think it was the governor who put in some word or two for you to, uh, to effect your release. No. The governor's powers do not extend to uh, matters of national and presidential interest. Mm -hmm. Yes, the government views economic crimes very seriously. Even the governors are not spared. Mm -hmm. There are no sacred cows. See. You know, it's all right. Uh, well, we thank God that you are home. Beware of Chief Odionian Fe. He's a very evil man. <laughs> I always thank God and I'll continue to thank him. Okay? As for Odionian Fe, evil will burn itself out. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, Chief, I, I hope they gave you something to compensate you. I mean, uh, some cash. <laughs> no, they just apologized. Why did you ask? <laughs> Nothing. I, I was just thinking uh, if it was not too early for me to ask for some uh, little financial assistance. Poverty has killed me. You see, from that last money that you gave me, since then, not one cop has entered my house. No, there is no money now. Uh, Chief, when, when can I come? Huh? I, I honestly need some help. Please. Well, keep your fingers crossed. I'll send for you when I have something for you. Could be one month, two months, or even three. You see, I have to tidy things up for myself. I've just been released. You know that. If we I'm lost. Well, there's no problem. I, I will wait. Chief, tidy up things and I will wait. Well, welcome back home again. Thank you. Uh -huh. uh, Chief, can
can I have one more sip of this drink? Yes, I have water for you. Oh, well, for me? Yes. <laughs> so that means I can take it home, man. If you wish. <laughs> I am. I'm not doing it. Once again, welcome. Welcome back home. Thank you. And God bless you. God bless you too. <laughs> Chief, I came here this night to warn you. Chief Abalaz is planning evil against you. He told me that himself yesterday. In fact, I could no longer hold it. I said, why should I be silent? When they want to kill my only beloved or the onion fair. The Obazulo Bodo one, two, three. Hi, Mba. Malaria gripped me. But uh, now I have told you, I'm well again. <laughs> he said, What? Mm -hmm. What evil plans can he produce against me? Can the calabash hold the wind? But, Chief, this is a serious matter. Chief Abalanze has those supporting him, Itie Daniel, Itie Mado, and John. They are planning to kill you and wipe out your family afterwards. In fact, they have been holding secret meetings in this house since Chief Abalaze came back from his arrest. Mm -hmm. mm. How did you know all this? Ah, oh, Chief. I am in Ichi in this village. And I've spent all my life here ever before both of you came back from your surgeon from the cities in the world. So if I tell you that Chief Abalanze wants to kill you and wipe out your family, you must believe me. I know that Abalanze and I have some tough rivalry, but uh, he has never struck me to be a murderer yet. So, you don't believe me? No, I don't. I'm sorry. <sighs> All right. I'll give you proof. Just give me 50,000 Naira and I'll go to Aboro Town tomorrow in the morning before the cock crows and I'll get in chair that powerful uh, native doctor to divine for you. I consulted him and he confirmed it. AJ, I don't have 50,000 Naira for any native doctor. I want to prove concrete proof. Not one native doctor. Uh, all right, all right, Chief. Uh, bring only thirty thousand, and I'll talk to him to accept it, at least for my sake. Iche, if the proof you are going to bring is a native doctor, then just forget it. I will deal with Abalanze in a more practical way. Chief. Um, but when the trouble begins, don't say I did not warn you. I have warned you. Hmm? Well, I will. <coughs> I will go. I will go. But um, uh, trouble is coming. Um, but Chief. Um, <laughs> Don't you have uh, any small thing for me for snuff for tomorrow morning? When tomorrow morning comes, I will look for something for you. Uh, well, uh, then uh, I think I have to go. I will go. But uh, trouble <sighs> is coming, oh. Trouble is coming, oh. I'm waiting for the truck. Conny man, Conny, Conny, take a music. Conny man, oh, mm. waiting you they find. Mm. Now money, money, you go kill yourself. One money. day, now one day, you go. your cup will go full. Oh. You go tired. If a soul is okay, make a putty. Conny, 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 I am fagginess. Conny man, oh, you go kill yourself. Conny man, oh, waiting you they find. 
Now money, money. You go kill yourself one, one day, day. Now one day. Your cup will go full. You go tired. If it's only so, get me chaputi. Oh, Connie, Connie. Oh, yeah, fagginess. Connie, man. You go kill yourself. Fine. Now money, money. Forget the money. One day, now one day. Yeah. You hardly spoke a word to me last night when you returned. Even in your sleep, you were tossing and turning and mumbling. What has happened to disturb you so deeply like this? Leave me, leave me, leave me, Mary, leave me. I am battling with this nonsense called life. That's all. Did anybody assault you on the road or at the meeting of the cheese? Life has insulted me. <laughs> and this insult is more painful than a thousand insults from one thousand Ichiyos or elders in this village. Just look at me. What am I? What do I have? A wife, a daughter, and two jobless sons? and some pieces of land uh, in, in, in the village that worth nothing except for farming, left for me behind by my late father, who at his own time did not fare better than I'm faring now. You are bitter this morning. I can see it. My two roads have come to an end. And if I don't find a new one fast, we will perish. Hey! I'm lost now. Chief Abalanze and Chief Odionenfe must have been touched by one certain witchcraft that forbids them from giving me money lately. Hmm? Imagine, now that I'm beginning to enjoy their generosity, they suddenly decided at the same time to become stingy. What do I do? Go back, go back to be selling palm wine, uh, uh, cover, cover for, uh, in bottles. No, what exactly happened? Eh? How am I supposed to know what happened? <laughs> all I know is that all my tricks in getting money from them lately failed. <sighs> By the way, where are those two lazy sons of yours? Huh. <laughs> I need to see them. I have, I have a plan. Eh? Yes. Tell me. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is not for women. <laughs> you see? That is why it is good to be any cheer. You see? If one plan fails, a wise cheer will form another one. Eh? Let me go to his here and make those two boys. No, no, no. And, and see. No, whatever it is, let you wait until they come back. No, 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 no. I don't want to forget this. I don't want to forget this time till evening. Eh? So let me. You will just look after the house. Huh? What does this man mean? So I will no longer eat calm leg and go to it. Okay, okay. Stop saying no, okay. Just what? What do we need? Just what? 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 No problem. Brother, did you see that? That's what. Brother, show me the receipt. He has just played all BT on you. Brother, he has just played a trick on you. See, brother, listen, listen. See, there is no space here. So he shifted your game so that he could eat you six, brother, six. Go, six, brother, six. Go. Pascal, what you know? No one. What you know? Uh, no wonder. No wonder I did not see this. Oh. You played it. Oh. You played me tricks, yeah. eh? You played me tricks. I, we will go to you. Okay. The money is what you want. Hey, 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 let's go, let's go. Tomorrow. Oh, we'll get you. No problem. Hey, brother, no problem. No problem. We'll get you. <laughs> good, 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 my children. <laughs> Brave boys. <laughs> I saw it all. 
Mm -hmm. I hid and watched you handle it. Yes. Papa, what, what are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> you have any problem? Uh, no, you see, um, the type of unity I witnessed this morning is the kind of unity that strengthens a family. I'm impressed. Always stand together. Papa, any problem? Yes. Uh, well, actually, there's a very serious problem. Hmm? But I believe if both of you can unite with me, as I saw you do today, <laughs> the wind of progress will never pass us by. Uh, you, Papa, Papa, unite with you. Uh, Papa, I thought you always said we were useless and good for nothing. Oh, those days are gone. Eh? Now, come on, my, my boys. Hmm? Come on, my boys. Uh, your father has a very important issue to discuss with you. You know, man to man. Hmm? Uh, so let's go and, uh, <laughs> and talk about it. Ah. Huh? Uh, uh. No problem. Uh, Papa, where are we going to? Uh, let's go home. I need to talk man to man. <laughs> <laughs> My children, yes, Papa. I cannot hide anything from you. You both live in this village, and you both know the problems of the two richest men that we have in this village. That is uh, Chief Abalanza and Chief Odionyamfe. Uh, I have taken their problem to my advantage, and I have fed from it. The other day, you know, I was able to send your sister back to school, back to her nursing school. Hmm? I've been able to buy your mother some new wrappers. And I've also been able to save some money for both of you. So that you can open a big store and chemist at Isieke. Really? Ah, oh, Papa, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Papa. Hey. <laughs> thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Yes. Uh, that is why I've now called you for this talk. Hmm? Uh, the sad news about it is that I can no longer save money and I cannot make new one. Chief Abalanza and Chief Odionyemfe have suddenly become so stingy and tight fisted. But Papa, we are you working for them and now they have sacked you. <laughs> I was using my brain. Yes. Oh, yes. You see, I was giving both of them information about each other. True and false. <laughs> uh, 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 and after that, I will now ask for a little help. That's it. Papa. <laughs> what do you expect an elderly jobless man like me to do? These people have excess money. Huh? So a little trick to get that money out of them. What is wrong with that? What is wrong with that? Huh? But now the, I, I cannot get money out of them anymore. I want to force them to bring out that money from where they are hiding it. No, 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 no. There's nothing like I'm robbery here. Ah, no, no. Uh, now come closer. You see, we must make them feel that their lives are threatened. That they are threatening each other. So much that they, they will feel that their lives are at stake. Mm. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This is to you. When I can lie, you must not touch it. It's a journey say again, right? He wants to see my reaction. This time, I'll react. This is a very good evidence. Show this one to the others first to see. And appear to him like a coward again. Huh? First, he went to the UFCC, reported me, and I was arrested for not just cause. Huh? Now he has come back to poke his fingers into my eyes. When I came back, I went and reported to the elders. I ignored him. I didn't go to him. Now he's poking his fingers into my eyes. He wants to know how I react. And I'm reacting this time. I'm going to react. Yes. Go inside. Go inside. Get my gun and bring the car. We are going out. Ah, chief, 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 I beg. You can't cross this thing. This is to do. This thing, you can kill, chief. Please, I Why, I will, eh? Chief, I am a Yoruba man staying in Ubu land. Eh, chief? Uh -huh. When I see Juju, I know it. Chief, you can't cross this Juju. This is Juju, Chief. Listen to me, Tyro. Your so called Juju, or uh, your name first so called Juju, cannot catch my tires. The tires on my car, they're going to roll over this, and nothing will happen. Did you hear that? Get the car! I'm going to pull off for small picking in medicine. They call them vegetable. Hey, Chief, cross this thing. Chief, cross this thing. <laughs> too much American. Now, too much American. I want the Chief, so. No, Chief, no goodbye. Chief, no goodbye. You, eh? Eight times for the bobo. Eight times for the bamba. Chief, no die. Chief, no die. Chief, no die. But I can't touch this thing. I can't touch this thing. Chief, come back. Is this gun loaded? Yes, Chief. I asked the uh, time to get it loaded. Good. Speed up. Yes. Speed up. Yes. Don't shoot me. Please, sir. Okay, leave this coward alone and let's go inside. His father is inside. What is this? Tell me where he is. <laughs> Move! Please, please, don't shoot me. Come on. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Come on. Come on. Okay, we're laying this boy in a, in a fool. 
Why do you want that yarrow? Fool, it's a fool! You can't shoot me! You can't shoot me! You coward! No, it's okay. They have run away. It's all right. It's enough. Let's go back inside the house. And where is Gideon anyway? Gideon! Have you forgotten that you said... See your son. See your son. Wet in his own urine. Clinching in fear. Instead of coming out here to help me fight the battle. It's not his fault. It's his nature. What kind of nature is that? A nature that is worse than a woman's own? How can a wolf produce such a cowardly son? Uh, Imeda! Imeda! Uh, uh, what is it, Chief, now? You married me as a virgin. Eh? Why, why are you looking at me that way? Why are you talking like this? And, 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 and after? After what? After me. Who went in there? I cannot believe that I am the father of that son. It is impossible. Agbalanse. Agbalanse. You have touched me in such a point. Now you get ready for the music. You see, look at it. Somebody came to my house last night and did this nonsense. It, it is not that I'm afraid that anything will happen to me. But I just want you to see 
the enormity of the evil that has entered our community. Ichi Timothy, have you seen this? What have you to say about this? Because it's you who always talks of peace and nothing but peace in this community. What have you to say about this one? Look at it. It is obvious that Odoyenfe did this. How can we be talking of peace when the likes of Odoyenfe are living in this community perpetrating evil? Let us not react yet. I will call the elders meeting to discuss this matter and we pray collectively against the perpetrators. Perpetrator, not perpetrators. Odoyenfe did it alone, no matter what is the problem. Let us exercise a little patience until we hear from him. Let us not react yet. I have reacted already. That's right. Yes. Or do you say have reacted today? Because my boys goofed and did not load my gun. Else he will be without a leg today in the hospital or in the mug already dead. God forbid. Anarchy will not rule us in this village. Well, then let nobody push me. Because if anybody pushes me, I will not move back. I will stand my ground and push back. That's right. Big man's life for oh, now. Big man's world oh, now. He big man the vest. Now you want the gas. When two big men they fight to oh, everywhere they shake. Mm -ba. We must not lie low and swallow this insult. Bah! Does Abraham the man think he is a military general or what? I wonder. How can he come to your house with a gun and almost kill you? We must teach him a lesson. I thank God who smote his boys into foolishness that they forgot to load his gun. Or else what would I be saying in the, in the land of the spirit? That one man entered into my OB and shot me like a chicken? I said this. Let us bring in the police. A man like this is not worthy at all to possess a gun. Let them withdraw his license. Uh, oh. uh, 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 that is a long process. Chief, we are behind you. Your boys, uh, Vincent and Gideon, are here. Tell us, what do you want us to do? Uh. Ah! You just see me? Uh, uh, no. Pull a chair and sit with us. Pull a chair. Sit down. You are welcome. Welcome. Uh, Kola has been served. Thank you. I have already heard all what happened in the village. Please, let us make peace. Let us make peace. Peace? Which peace in this situation? Peace is very far away. I have already been to the Chiabalanza's house. And I have advised him also to take his decision. Let us not point fingers yet. Instead, let us all meet at the village square in two days' time to pray against the evil. I believe if we can believe in prayers and in God, we can win this evil that is entering in our village by fostering rivalry between our two most illustrious sons. No way. DJ Timothy, what if this rivalry continues after the prayers? Oh, well. Believe God. It won't. All right, teachers. Let us give him two days. It's all right. We shall keep everything on hold as we can. I thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anybody wants to? Mm -hmm. Please. Take some cool. Take some cool. Uh, the little fire that we have put on that raffia mat is starting to burn like a like a furnace. Hmm? Hmm. Now let's watch out. Very soon they will come begging me to come and take money. <laughs> <laughs> I want the money to become you, Papa. Huh? The both of us will have our own shops mm -hmm. ready and and fully stocked uh, and full of customers. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Papa, and we will build another new house. Mm -hmm. A new house. Yeah. And Jay will stop following men as old as I am. Oh. Huh? In the cities, from one hotel to the other, just in the name of maintaining herself in school. 
I will have enough money to give her to pay her school fees and maintain herself. Yes, and even Mama. Huh? Huh? Does Mama follow me too? God forbid. That's not what I'm saying. I, I was always asking what you do when for Mama when the money comes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I will expand upon one business. Yes, In fact, I will include uh, Oba. Uh, uh, mm. Morocco, pepper soup, <laughs> and beer. <laughs> <laughs> I will even myself go down to the lunch sometimes. <laughs> and as for me, <laughs> as for me, when the money comes, I will overcharge my customers, make plenty, plenty, plenty money, too quick, huh? so I can go and marry Adama, my only love in this whole town. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I need to, Papa. Papa. I will buy a car. Then I will build a new house. Then, Papa, I will travel to Cameroon mm -hmm. and marry a Cameroonian woman with large bottom <laughs> and fat legs. <laughs> um, uh, we are dreaming. Hmm? Mm. Now, my boys, let me go to Chief Abalanza's house. Yes. And let me see how we can make this dream come fast, fast, come, start coming immediately. Huh? Mm. <laughs> uh, enjoy your wine. Go up, mm. up. It's just a little way of thanking you Go for up. helping me the other day at, uh, about, uh, for the job uh -huh. at Abalanza's gate. Thank you very much, Papa. Don't get drunk. No, it's good. Connie man, Connie, Connie, take a busy Connie man. Waiting you they find mm. now money money you go kill yourself one, one day, day now one day your cup will go full no. you go tired if it's so it's okay, it's okay. i heard that the elders were here to see what they put in front of your gate i would have been with them but i was not feeling very well i hope that they took a very decisive step against it yes it's here they did. Iche, Timothy, and Daniel were here and they took a decision. Oh, good, good, good. I hope they are bringing a very strong, good native doctor. Because if not, I will bring somebody. A very tough one. Iche Bernard, nobody talked about a native doctor and they are not going to bring a native doctor to my house. They are not? Then how do they want to make the power of that medicine powerless? Come, my brother. Let me go and bring a very strong native medicine man. Huh? It will not cost you much money. Highest 80,000 Naira. No. No native doctor is going to come into my house. Do you understand? It's a barbaric and pristine practice that is very unchristian. Well, uh, uh, Chief, the other day that you went to Chief or or or, or the Union first house with a gun to kill him, is that Christian? Iche, I was angry, and God understands. Who will be in my shoes and not do the same? Uh -huh. Now you are talking. God will also understand if you get a strong native medicine man to to solve all these problems and save your life, Iche. No. Even in anger, I have a limit. What do you expect my colleagues back in the States to say? That I retired and went back to my village and now I wine and dine with native witch doctors? Huh? No. Well, um, uh, there's no problem. I have heard you. But do not say I did not warn you. Uh huh. Iche, you said the other day that you needed a little financial assistance. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Good. Uh, I have some of 15,000 Naira here. I hope it will be enough for you to sort out yourself. Thank you, Chief. Connie Thank man, you. Connie, no, Connie, take a busy Connie man. So I'm waiting you to find. Now money, money, go kill yourself one day, now one day.
Your cup will go full low. You go tired. If a solezo get meta putty. Chief. <laughs> now you know, you now agree with me that Chief Abalanze wants to kill you. Uh, you say you did not put any medicine in front of his gate. Well, that means he put it there himself just as a way to free me up and took that as an excuse to come to your house with a gun in his hands. <laughs> If not that the God Almighty Jehovah scattered his plans, we would not know what we are talking about today. It baffles me. It really baffles me. How can I put medicine in front of Abalenze's house? How can I? <laughs> well, uh, uh, Chief, <laughs> very honestly, did you? Or did you not? How can you ask me this type of question? How can you question me like this? If I did, you are my right hand man. I will tell you. Yes, yes, Chief. You see, I, I was there myself, and I, I, I saw these fetish things in front of the gates. So, who then put it there? Maybe. Some of the EJs who support me did it without my knowledge. But I called all of them and I have asked them and they have denied it. And I believe them. Uh, Chief, have you asked one or have you asked some of those your boys like uh, Vincent and Gideon? <laughs> those ones? Uh -huh. But you don't even know how a native doctor looks like. Ah, Chief. <laughs> Chief, boys of nowadays, you can never tell. You can never know. Uh, Chief. Chief. Uh, give me some money. Uh, let me go to Abo. And see and check the medicine man. Even this night. By tomorrow morning, you will know the truth. It should be not. You don't seem to be aware that the Iches have put a constraint on this matter. The Iches have said that we will all gather together and pray for God's wrath on the perpetrators. Let us wait. Chief, Chief, I, <laughs> I don't understand you. Chief, I've always known you as a man with his own will and his, his own way. What has come over you? Is the crocodile forgetting how to lash out with his tail? No. Bernard, if I move too fast, they will think that I did it. They think now that I am an evil man carrying medicine all over this community and that is a very, very serious allegation. An allegation that I would like to see the root cause of it all as the issues will lead. Chief, Chief, Chief. Let the Ichiers do their own. Let me do my own for you. Hmm? For, for, for you. No. Not yet. And that is final. Connie man. Connie, Connie. Take a music. Connie man. No. Mm. Waiting you they find. Mm. Now money, money. You go kill yourself one, one day, day. Now one day. Your cup will go full, low. you go tired. If a solezo get meta putty, eh? Yeah. Oh no, Connie, Connie, I am fagginess, Connie, man, oh. You go get to your safe fine. Now money, money, forget the money. One oh. day, now one day, your cup will go full, low. you go full, if a solezo get meta putty, eh? Yeah. Hey, 
<laughs> this one you're running. Uh, 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 you see, I saw, I saw Mazu Kung Fu's dog. That's my dog. That's my dog. Yes, yes, there. Ah. Yes. Why did you drive me? I don't know. I don't like. I don't like dogs. Where is it? Okay. Ah. It, it was just there. I saw. I saw it there. There. Ah. It was. Well, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it's it's gone. Away. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Okay. This one you're afraid of dogs like this. Uh -uh, right. I don't like dogs at all. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's go. <laughs> hey. you people for the last time. Did any of you go to Chief Agbalanze's house and put medicine at his gate? No, Chief, we did not. Speak for yourself. Ah, Chief, I saw in the name of God. I did not do such a thing. How can I? Gideon. Chief, I did not. I'm a practical man. If you want to kidnap him, I kidnap him. No hassles. I don't have any interest in Juju or Medicine Man, Chief. I believe you. Both of you can go. Okay, thank you, Chief. Thanks to you, boss. Let King Gumbe in a day shake her. La la illa ha de said King Gumbe. La la illa ha de said King Gumbe. What is it now? Which music is that you are so engrossed with? That Malay Angels. Oh, I see. What is I see? Do you know him? Who doesn't? Anyway, Chief said we should all dress up and get set. We are going out for the other prayer meeting. I have forgotten. Chief! Let me rush and get dressed. Uh -huh. hey, but, uh, has Chief forgiven you for not loading the gun the other day? Chief even thanked me for not loading the gun. If I had loaded the gun, Chief would have killed somebody in the pit of anger. And by now, guess what? Chief would have been in detention and waiting trial for murder. You see? You see? They say every disappointment will lie is a blessing. Blessing will lie. Let me rush and get dressed. I'm waiting for you. No problem. here today for peace. May your peace come upon this village. Amen. May our hearts seek the peace we confess with our mouth here today. And may those who bring evil among us in this village be exposed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father Lord, May you take pride away from us. May we see and recognize those whom you have elevated above us with better education or wealth or they have lived in America. And I say, Father, may those who came to have lived in this village longer than anyone or who came to have taken titles before everyone not use them as instruments of oppression let them know that it is not how long but how well yes lord and may you cut the mouth of that man who is speaking to me insolently now or make him get away from here father lord in heaven i say root out those who call upon you to cut the mouth of other people? Let them know that you are God and cannot be ordered around by an ordinary common village chief. 
Abalanche. You are a fool. You are a foolish man to talk to me like that. How dare you talk to me like that? You are even more foolish. Yes. To address a retired professor like me as a fool. It shows what has overtaken your grey matters. Yes. yes. If you come close to me, I am going to hit you with my walking stick. Try it. I say just try it. Try it and you will see how my boys will deal with you. Your boys? What do you call these ones? Not men. Huh? You and your weakling of the sun. Weakness runs in your blood. It runs in your vein. Enough, Look please. your son. Enough! We came here for peace and not for war. Did you? Did you hear what that stupid man is telling me because of my stupid son? Huh? Chief, what do I do? Attack! If you attack, we attack. Blood flow. No hassles. Then we kill all of you here. You can't do anything. Nothing. It is enough. Let us not make God angry by boiling in the middle of prayer. Yeah. But he started it. He started it. He started making references to those who have been to America. Abba Lanze, did I call your name? Oh. Did I call your name? Did I call your own name? Did I mention your name? Who the hell do you think you are in this village? Uh, uh, don't point your fingers at him. Uh -huh. huh? We have been keeping silent here. Enough is enough. Shut okay. up, little man. Myself? I said shut up! I'm talking! Shut up! Hey. Uh -uh. I see your followers are beginning to, to, to show their faces. Yes, your supporters, they are beginning to show their ugly faces. Those you bought with money. But I am going to work out of this meeting. Yes, and I expect those who support me to follow me. Yes, they will follow me. And there is not going to be peace in this village until we tell ourselves the truth. My supporters, let us go. I'm walking out. Let's go. My supporters, this way. Don't mind. Iche, Bernard, are you not coming with us? Come with me. What are you talking about? Iche, Bernard is my man any day. <laughs> Iche, Bernard. Aro. Aro. Hey. Aro. 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 fact that uh, we have been very good friends right from standard three from where both of us dropped out eh? uh -huh. you see if if you don't come with me my game will be up uh, but you know i'm only a herbalist i cure malaria eba and some other minor diseases um, with leaves and herbs which i learned from my father I am not a diviner, neither am I a soothsayer, nor uh, a witch doctor. It doesn't matter at all. Just come with me to Chief Odionian first house in my town. And you tell him that it was Chief Abalanze who put some medicine in front of his uh, house just to frame him up. Huh? Then uh, 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 you now charge him very heavily for protection. Something like uh, 150,000 Naira. Huh? Then after that? <sighs> after that, you, you give him some mixture to drink and uh, some to sprinkle around his room uh, for protection. Huh? So long as the mixture doesn't kill, he will feel protected. Then he will pay the money. Huh? Then uh, I 
I will take a uh, hundred and ten thousand naira, and you will take forty thousand naira, forty thousand naira for you. <laughs> then, then, then we will wait for we will wait a few days. Eh? Then we will go to Chief Abalanza's house and and repeat the same trick. More money. Hmm? What if I am caught? Nobody will catch you. You're not from my village. In my village, nobody knows you're there. Huh? And besides, you know, everything will be done very quietly. You know, these big men, they, they, they don't want people to know that they are divine and native doctors. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me go and get some cola. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> well. Don't worry, let me, I'm coming, let me get the cola. Declare your stand and swell the number of my supporters. You were found wanting. Who is this man beside you? <laughs> Chief. Uh, Chief, I thank you very much. I have waited patiently. Uh, for you to finish. A dangerous dog is not the one that barks the most, but is the one that bites the most. Having said that, all those elders who have been flocking around you are, are doing it because of what they can get from you. When the storm blows and clears, you will not find a single one behind you. So, I felt insulted the way Abalanza insulted you. And for that, I stormed out of the meeting. That was why I decided to scream, ow, ow, ow. <sighs> then I, w I went home and prepared myself to go to Apollo. So, <laughs> this man, you are saying, he is. Nche, the medicine man. I consulted him for you. His revelations will be very interesting to you. I don't, I don't know if I like this or not. I want you. Uh, Nche, why don't you talk to him by yourself? <clears throat> My spirits told me that the man who wants to kill you has read so many books and has lived among the white people in their land. <coughs> Look, Inche, excuse me. Enough of this. I have told you as the spirit led me. If you want me to leave, I will go. that nobody will ever know that you were ever here. 
Secrecy is my first name. Nche is the second. Then you can speak. I wish to know the details of his plot. <laughs> Tino, Tino, Tini Gorigo, Igorigo Minabali, Sebese, Sebese, Mino Dumu Yayaka, Kirio, Abamini, Mini Shikuriko, Mini Mini Yaya. <laughs> This is your own 40,000. Hmm? And this is my own 110,000. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> you did well today. I hope you will do even better when we face Chief Abalaza. He will be difficult. You know these book people. He's a brave man. Don't worry. Now that I've seen this money, I will handle him very well. <laughs> Mary? Mary! Mary! Bring uh, Pamwan. Connie, Connie, Chai, Connie, Mango. Waiting you be fine. Oh, now, now, money, money. One day, now, one day, your cup will go full. I got a bucket now. Give us a little game, it's a putty. They were waiting for us. They were waiting for us. No, they were not. They were not. They were only on guard. Ah, no, it's still not the same thing. It's still not the same thing. All I'm trying to say is that we need to find other, other methods of achieving the same aim. Eh? And stop all this light meandering business. Eh? Everybody is now alert. Papa, everybody is now alert. Imagine, just imagine if that, 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 bullet, that bullet had hit any of us. <laughs> That will be the end of it all, no? Huh? So, by then, everybody in this village will have known that we, Papa, you, me, Mama, all of us, are the people behind this whole thing that's happening in this village. Do you, you have any ideas? Yes, yes, yes. Let's kidnap. Let's kidnap uh, Chief of the Infants, uh, uh, son. That coward son, Dave. Let's kidnap him. Uh, and ask. And demand for the five hundred thousand naira ransom in cash. No. Cash. No, eh? no, no, eh? no, no, eh? no, no, no. Instead of all this ten thousand naira today, five thousand naira tomorrow. No. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. We should not do something that will involve the police to look into. Yes. Can you face the police? Ah, I'll face them. Ah. <laughs> No, 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 no,
110,000 naira for all his troubles. 110,000 naira. Eh? And that I know cannot equip a big store not to talk of pay the rent. And don't forget that Papa has so many things to do with money. So at the end of, so at the, end of the day, mm. nothing will come to us. I have Raka. So, what are you suggesting? Let's give him a brave. Come on now. Let's kidnap him now the hit is on. Huh? We write a letter asking for 500,000 naira. Yes. 500,000 naira to be dropped at this year's market in the night. We pick it, release the boy, go to Abba, spread the money 250,000 naira each. Then open the shop. When I buy. Hey, Rosin! Rosin, you G! If um there will be suspicion no? mm -hmm. there will be suspicion if Chief Abalanze mm -hmm. kidnaps Steve. Mm -hmm. He won't need to ask for ransom now. He's already a rich man. When they won't suspect us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They won't suspect us. Come, give us your they will so all fingers were pointing at Chief Abalanze's camp. At one of those chiefs that supporting him, mm -hmm. uh, someone like uh, uh, Madmen, or someone like uh, Iche 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 Madu, ah, uh, that mm -hmm. poor man, they will suspect him. Okay, okay, okay. Assuming we kidnap him, mm -hmm. where do we hide him? Yeah. In Jess' room now. Hey, yeah, now we have to be rescued. Jess' and sister's room. It's simple. We catch him. Hmm? Mm. Tie, his, tie his mouth, tie his hands and legs, cover his eyes. Papa and Mama hardly enter that room. So, we feed him only in the night. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can see you're, you already have it planned out. Mm -hmm. Boss, mm -hmm. I am in. Mm -hmm. uh, but when do we strike? Today, we hide outside their compound. Monitor their gates. Monitor their gate. Once it opens and it comes out, we follow him. We follow him. We tell him. We tell him. Then we capture him. And we kidnap him. We kidnap him at a lonely place. A lonely place. A lonely place. Ah! Where is go? You know what? You know what? You may die, man. Ah! When I get money, 250,000 bros. I'll. I'll. I'll be the house.
Don't get scared. Okay. 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 So I have a feeling that something is wrong with Dave. Vincent has just come back from looking for him and he says there's no sign of him in the village. Uh, what about Gideon? Gideon is not back yet. Well, let us wait for him. Wait for him? Ah, oh, no, Chief, you have to do something. Call the police or do something. Now you can't just sit, sit down here and say you have to do something. Eh? I have a feeling that Dave is in trouble. Probably kidnapped or something. Kidnapped? Who would do such a thing? Chief, how can you ask that kind of question? You have too many enemies already. Please do something. This is not a time to sit down and think. Do you have too many enemies? So do something. Short. Let me go. go. on the ground as if somebody was forcibly dragged away. Hey, oh my god! I said it! I said it! You see them kidnap my son! Oh god! What have I done to him? I take this village? What have I done to him? Oh, 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 oh. Video, yes, get the car ready. I want to go to Chief Abalance's house. If he has my son, I want him to release him to me. Now go. It's okay. Not all right. Chief, I can assure you that we can get to the root of this matter. To know all the people who have been hanging all those things in front of your gate. Let me bring you Cheddar Parfum Medicine Ban. And all these problems will be solved. I have said no before. I'm still saying no now. I, 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 I am getting tired of this village. I'm getting tired of this village. I think I'm beginning to consider going back to the States to stay with my wife and two children. This stress is getting too much for me. What is this? Eh? What kind of place is this? Yes? Uh, Taiwo, what is it? Uh, Chief, on the interface at the gate, sir. Ah, he said he has come in peace. Okay. Uh, no, 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 Eh? Let us. I, 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 I am tired of this rivalry. Let me hear what he has to say. No, Chief, no. What of if he has now come here in the night to kill you? Eh? Don't, don't allow him to come in. He's an evil man. Listen to me to kill me in your presence. 
You are in my camp. In the presence of Taiwo and, 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 and Musa. How could you possibly kill me? Is this such a giant? How can you allow your, your worst enemy? That's chief, 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 wait. Your worst enemy to come into your house at night. Tell him to come in the morning. It's better. Ask him to come in the morning. Okay. 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 Uh, Taiwo. Uh, tell him I am sleeping. That you should see me first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, I, I, are you okay? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Are you sure? Hi. Yes, yes. I was... Uh, <sighs> I, <laughs> I was only... I was only worried for you just now. You were yes. what? Yes. Worried about me? Yes, yes. <laughs> Me. 
two hefty boys. I ah. found him in my room, Chief. I don't understand what's going on. Are you not Ichie Bernard's daughter? Yes, Chief, I am. I see. Come, get into the car. Let's go. Okay. Let me come this way. of Amuzi. Uche Bernard has finally confessed. And so today we now know the truth. Yes. Uche yes. Bernard, a prison sentence will not be enough for what you have cost this village. All the atrocities you have committed against the people of this village. Yes, by knocking my head with the head of Chief Odiyemfe together for your own personal purpose. Yes, you, your wife, your two sons, and this fake native doctor. Mm. My people, you see this case, mm. this case, I am going to fight to the last <laughs> to ensure that these people get not in less than 10, 10 years hey! in prison. Oh yes, for the atrocities they've committed against this community. Yes, yes. Please, My people, I'm shut sorry. up! Oh. Oh. Jane, their daughter, this man's daughter, mm -hmm. this evil woman, is innocent. Oh. She came in from school, but for that woman, we wouldn't be able to know the truth. Yes, <clears throat> I will personally take care of her education. Mm -hmm. I promise this community that I will personally take care of her education. Yes, but these people, they will suffer. You, you are going to suffer. You will suffer. My professor, Professor Abalanze, my brother, come. I am as my own blood to conquer. Hey! Come back. Come. Hey! Uh, Elders of Amuzi! Come! Elders of Amuzi! Come! 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 Come!
Just because of money That's where your life will be Up on say you be poor man You still be guy man No, no be everything Where they sweet they give life This time around now your death you define no One day now one day You go far I'm go Connie 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 man Connie man no. So so I have Waiting you they find I now money money Make you take a miss One day now one day Your cup will go funny go kill you one day so so get me chap of tea He be bad man Connie Connie Oh John ready Connie man no. Oh now see you Waiting you they find Now money money Kiss it then One no. day now one day Oye who get Your cup will go funny Connie man, Connie, Connie, take a music, Connie man, oh, mm-hmm. waiting you they find, now money, money, you go kill yourself, one money. day, now one day, your cup will go full, you go tired, if it's so late, so get me chop of tea, hey, oh, no, Connie, Connie, oh yeah, fagginess, Connie man, oh, you go kill yourself, waiting you they find, now money, money, forget the money, one oh. day, now one day, Get me chapo tea, hey.